How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus, and today I'm doing a review for G.I. Joe Classified Crimson Bat. Uh, I've had a couple of these for... Let's see, a couple weeks? I don't know, but I got them. Finally getting around to reviewing them. It, to say this place always looks like a warehouse. All this, the bots and the comics and the doggo. It's, I have to do a review every day just to try to break everything down, but I keep buying. After MC3, you probably see less haul videos on this channel than actual reviews. So, I got to cut back and open more stuff than keep buying and buying and buying. But we'll get to that in another day. Crimson Bat. Artwork on the front. Continuation on the side. This stuff here figure and accessories and legal bullshit on that side. Cobra number 60 on the top. Now in the G.I. Joe series there was a lot of different bats designed for different situations. There's these crimson bats which were awesome. There was Arctic black bats that were blue. I think they were Arctic bats. No, they were black majors. But those were still cool. Hopefully we get like an ice blue bats. For like the snow missions. Because we're getting snow serpents. We're getting a snow job. I think we get an iceberg. I hope we get an iceberg. I always liked him. Uh... Oh, we have the desert bats. But I'm, again, I'm going off topic here a bit. So let's just go ahead and get this guy out of the box and check him out. And just remember to like, share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications. And welcome to Ionicus Toy Reviews. And here we have the Crimson Bat out of the package. And he looks really good. Uh... It looks just like the other versions of the bats. Got a double jointed neck. The head goes 360. You look down a lot. You look up a lot. Back and forth. Butterfly joint in the shoulders. You could probably do a T-pose, but I'm not going to force this arm because this arm feels real, really tight. And I don't want to bend it too much because this shoulder joint right here is already, this is really loose on this version. But arms can go 360 still and the rotation. Single joint elbow, hands go back and forth in 360. There's that rocker there in the chest and waist swivel position there. He's got that drop down effect in the legs. Legs can go up that far, can go back only a certain amount. And super kick to a certain degree. There's a rotation in the upper thigh, which is awfully tight. This one, double jointed, pinless knees. I might add, awfully tight though. Ow. There's a boot cut and the feet go all which direction. So overall is a good figure. Because uh, of the one chest plate. And 
You can see the circuitry detailing there in the chest. I mean, you know, the grenade strap here, the belts, gun strap, carrying pouch. You can see the circuitry on the forearms. The cobra symbol right there and there. So details look really good. He's, I mean, he is just basically a repaint of one of the other of the other bats. And you got the chest plate, the numbers, and everything on it. Uh, he comes with an alternate chest plate, and it's battle damaged. See the crack, the bullet holes, the dent right there. He comes with his handgun, it's molded in this black plastic. The same as uh, other guns. I have a, it's a random machine gun over here. This, I'm sure I'll do photos of him holding this. So I use for most figures like this. And the rest of the accessories, like the other versions of the bats. Come with the laser, the flamethrower, and the claw, which you can swap one of the hands out for these. And the backpack. Let's see the circuitry and the molding. It's all the same as the other bats' backpacks. All the same accessories. Except for the Python Patrol bat did not come with the damaged chest plate or this alternate damaged head where the original bat did come with this. And you'll see more photos of him with the damaged head and damaged chest plate on my Instagram channel, Ionicus Toy Reviews. So be able to be sure to check that out in the next day or so. It might be out now if you, you haven't looked yet. But let's go ahead and put all his accessories back on. Gun can go in the holster. There's the chest plate. Plant throwing glare. The claw can go there. See, this makes sense for the gas tanks. There's a flamethrower on the other side, so it'll fill, charge it. Same with the laser. One clips into there, so you can charge there. And then it plugs right into the back, which I did not show the back in detail on there. how the the midsection crotch area looks out of place it's off center for some weird reason oh well uh, let me flip this over and I'll give you my final thoughts in just a moment well the Crimson Bat is a newer Joe which you're able to find him in stores uh, which I did pick one up from the Target by my work. And my good friend 8-Bit underscore collectibles hooked me up with one as well. So. I'm happy to get, have a couple. Now if like the Python Patrol bats, which I think I have. I know I have one right here. I have like four or five of these guys now. Uh, several of them I got on clearance, so I'm very happy about that. Hopefully I can get more of these guys on clearance in the next month or so. Uh, the bats are cool. They're good troop builders. Uh, if that's something you like, having them in your photos or even just having four or five of them up on your shelf on display. 
they look great together. Uh, they look great next to the, being controlled by the Crimson Guard and the and Zamont Tomax. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely worth getting if you get them in store or online. Definitely worth picking up a couple. Uh, nine out of ten, definitely. One of the little grips I have is the crotch piece. It just feels like it's off center. It doesn't look like it's sitting right. And the difficulty I had, which is just probably on me, swapping the heads. This head didn't seem like it wanted to get on there properly. But it is what it is. Uh... If you like this video, you follow all the instructions at the beginning of I gave at the beginning of the video. Uh, put down in the comments what your favorite bats are. Let me know. Uh, and let me know which bat, which style bats you're looking forward to seeing in Classified. Uh, and just remember to keep in those toy aisles, and we'll see you guys next time. Later.